have a surprise guest today, Jada. Oh my God, who is it? I'll give you a hint. They are gorgeous. John Cena. It's John Cena. No, the one and only Georges. Mm, even better. <laughs> Let's get into some hall and closet. M. Oh. M. Mom. I know that's right. It's time for Hall and Closet. Welcome to Hall and Closet, the show where I, Jenna Essence Hall, and I, Heidi in Closet, two authorities on absolutely everything. Explain, Explain it all. Now, you can think of us as two special investigators as we seek out the answers on everything you need to know from drag to love to science. So we're wearing nails, finally. Today. Ooh. Just, we're wearing nails. nails. We, just, we decided to wear nails, nails to our show. I'm proud of us. <laughs> we're wearing nails today, y'all. We have stepped it up. We decided that we didn't want to be tucking. That's fair. And... At, because if we if we did tuck with these talons, could circumcise yourself all over again. Yeah, true. And 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 you and and Heidi, I don't know. I I do, I don't want to know. You don't want to. Why not? And I don't think it's that. Well, there's some people out there that probably want to know. <laughs> oh, people want to know. But I don't. If you are, we oh, don't want right. to have you double circumcised. That's fair. That could be. I don't. I don't know if that's a thing. I like it. I don't want to lose no inches. Or girl, or sensation. Or se no. oh, that's <laughs> baby. No, please not the sensation. <laughs> we have an insatiable <laughs> curiosity, and we know that you do too. So get ready to learn how all this works, according to us at least. This, this is, is hall and, and closet. Question mark? Question mark? Heidi. Why? Are you ready to get into some nonsense? I'm ready for the nonsense. Always Today, ready. you look amazing. You're giving me very Tina Turner vibes. The Ooh, hair is thank giving you. me, yes. Thank like you've been working bit. out. Yes, I, you see what I'm saying? Oops, salsa. Yeah. Give me like a 60s Tina vibe. Yes. It's very good. Now, yes. how's your life been? My life's been pretty good. Um, hectic, crazy travel, okay. but I've been in town for a couple days, so it feels good to be home. But it's been great. Yeah. What about you, girl? Well, you know what? I've been traveling a lot, and that's, oh, I, that's not important. But you know what is very important? What's luxury important? is luxury is always important. Luxury. I feel like there's a lot of things that have been happening in pop culture. Uh huh. Crazy things. This is tea. Things that you love. Things that I love. People things getting, that we both love. People getting spit on. Pe people have been getting spit on. But girl, now I have went to. Well, I don't know if you know because you're still talking about the I spitting. Still, I still think things that. have gone left since the spitting. Wait, mama. there's more. Yeah. You know, I haven't. I've, I stopped. I capped at the spitting. Things have went left since the spitting. Oh. Um, I'm not gonna say who. Oh. But somebody had ran out into the driveway and was laying in front of a car. What is going on with this whole situation? So that Olivia Wilde would not leave the house. Oh, wait, and wait, you want to know why? Wait, because they tied together. Oh my god, I didn't even know bro, that tied together. She I just want to talk about this. Apparently, had made her special salad. What's a special salad? A salad that she only makes, like apparently, for her family and for. The person who was laying in the driveway. I don't want to bring but, them into this. But is it an Oprah salad? No. I mean, I, well, well, it's a, apparently it's a good salad. Okay. Because the salad was going to Harry Styles. Oh, okay. He eats and healthy, And that's no? why... Oh, so she said the person so, ran so out the house and said, you're not leaving our family taking the salad you feed this family to Harry Styles. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, so... Olivia, okay, is taking the salad. A person I don't want to mention is in is in also involved in this. Also, is it who is and it? And they Who's probably this other have, person? and that person probably has some other little people with that person. That it, who is it? A, a girl, her husband. God damn. Oh, <laughs> this is the day kids, girl. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this was at their. Okay, now oh, I might as well just tell you, girl. Yeah, please tell me. Because you don't, you don't. I thought Heidi. I don't be keeping up. I'm sorry. When you in the club, you know a lot of shady ways to get the girls. That I thought what was just giving you the, the tea the way you like to get the tea. Yeah, girl, the way you get the tea, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Olivia Wilde uh -huh, yeah. was leaving her house yes. to go take her special salad. 
her to Harry special, Styles. Her spe- was it a salad it or was a special salad. salad? It was a special salad that she feeds the family. Apparently. The whole family or just the father? Or just the family. It's a, a salad for the family. It's a, it's, this and is she was leaving salad. the house to take that salad to feed Harry Styles. It's not a euphemism. And he said, yes, girl, not a euphemism. <laughs> euthanasia. For anything. <laughs> what it was was he got in that driveway. He said, lay down behind her tires and said, you're not leaving this house with that salad. And now they're getting a divorce. Because of Harry Styles. A lot of people have been getting salad. A, have, a lot of celebrities have been getting divorces lately. Oh my God. Jada, or filing for divorce. That's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. Over a salad? Over a salad. There's got to well, be more. Bro, it's not more. The, bro, the things have been going crazy ever since all of everything that was connected before, it was all the same thing. It was all Harry Styles and Olivia doing some things. I, look, I'm hearsay. Dealings. Hearsay. Shady dealings. Hearsay. I don't know. I don't know any of that. All I know is what I heard on the social media. And what I seen on the post. What you what you heard on the Not social media. Not the New media. York Post, no other post. What you heard on the social media? What I heard on the social medias. I mean, that's you know fair. I mean on social media listening. Okay, I mean, I'm still in the I'm still stuck in a world where social media used to be just pictures. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. I forget there's a lot of videos. There's out a lot there. of videos, so, yeah. there's videos, that's there's right. words. That's you where the original video of, heard it. of Harry Spitting came from. Hot. It's a lot of stuff going on. Hot. I what 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 what's been what do you feel like in pop culture? Has been rocking your world lately. Uh, well, for one, we have to say it: the Renaissance album. Okay, T. It's rocked yep. my whole world. Is it? Is it the the nomination for the Grammys? For the Grammy? Your world? Yeah. Is it for the Grammys? She's nominated for the Grammys. Oh, work, bitch. Go off. Sis. I, look, I, look, I see. Look, y'all. I be di- I be into too much mess. I be so out of touch. Did <laughs> you Did you see? What well, did you see? Well, this look, and y'all. This is old news, y'all. We're delivering some old news here. This is This is for all of y'all that maybe y'all just want to have me, these conversations again because I'm educating Heidi. Did you hear about the Nick, the Nikki drama with Lotto? No. Heidi, what? I live under a rock when I'm not on stage. Oh, my God. Well, I can't even get into that because it, it's just, it's, it's a saga. It's and a whole saga? It's a saga. I'm going to fill you in one of these days on it. But what I will tell you is this. I did recently watch a movie mm-hmm. on a plane. Oh, uh-huh. and what was it? And it was one of the cutest movies I've ever seen Ooh. in my entire life. Mm-hmm. Mind you, there was a warning on the movie that it said it was not for children. Oh, okay. Well... What? But I guess you could watch it with children. Just be parental advisory. Um, just, just be parental, parental advisory. Parental advisory. Yeah, girl. Um, just you, you specifically the be the parental advisory. Is, the, the shoe. The movie is about the most weirdest thing ever. It's a, it's a shell. A shell. A shell named Marcel. Okay, you following me? I'm with you. I'll, 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 you know, I'll like go on this journey like with you. Like a little shell. He's like twisted like this, and it's like like a conch. Yeah. With the, no. No. Not like that. One of the ones with like a little snail shell. Shell, shell like that. There he is. Oh. Why Marcel, like that? the snail. Don't do it. Why it do you look like that? Girl, that is basically a conch Let shell. me tell you. Marcel is a snail who Mar- wears shoes, right? Yeah. Wait. He, sh- why does it wear shoes? Snails don't have feet. Um, have you seen snails have just, sex? J- uh, no. Because I have. When? It's quite frightening. I watched a video on it. What, were you Googling do you, do you want me to, No. Do you want me to tell you how? Yep, go ahead. Do you want to finish your story first? No, go ahead first. Give okay. us that. So what they do in for the mating, yep. they actually have this extra appendage that like comes out of them like a hook, and they both hook each other at the same time. And basically what it melts down to is they, since they're, they, um, they have no they can, gender. They don't have a gender, so they can be either they can be pregnant or not pregnant. So basically, they basically jack each other full of their uh, their juices, and whichever one gets the right amount or something like that juices is the one that becomes pregnant. They wow. literally like hook into like like almost like a stab. Motion. Sounds like a Friday night at your house. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, whoever ends like, up getting the hook in is, is the one that's yeah, getting the juice. Honestly, <laughs> that's like, that's how it goes. But yeah, that's kind of how they do it. I, sorry, is that where you got that game from? What game? The hook and juice game. The hook and juice game. <laughs> 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 oh, wait. But the, girl, listen. For real. This but is Marcel. Marcel. In, see, in, let me tell, the tell snail you. in shoes. Go ahead. And he was not a snail. He's the shell. just the shell. I'm sorry. He's, he's not a snail. I'm sorry. He's just the shell. I didn't mean to. And he lives in, a, in an Airbnb. Not this. But he has no ideas in Airbnb. Not this. He just is confused by why people constantly move in and out of the house all the time. He lives in the house alone with his grandmother, who is also a shell. Is he a decoration in said house, basically? No. He's living. They hide in the house. 
and they have to on. eat. They have to survive. But only him and his grandmother are in the house oh. because the family was stolen away. And he is so cute. His voice. What you mean the family? You was have to play away. the voice. His voice is like, oh my god, it's like very little, like. And he was like, and the, the movie starts out. Oh my god. There's the person who stayed in the Airbnb is doing a documentary on the snail on on the Look, on the shell. Oh, it's a snail now. You've confused me, Heidi. Oh, it's a snail. Now. They're doing a documentary on the shell and his life and about him living in the Airbnb with his grandmother. And Not he starts this. out he goes, "It's a simple fact that everyone knows that a snail in order to survive has to live in a community of at least 20 shells." And I'm like, what? that is not a fact. Nobody knows what? that, but it's the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. And then like in what here, the documentary, the snail goes viral. Really? Girl, it is, the snail goes viral and he's trying to find the rest of his family. The shell? Yeah, the shell. Girl, you lost me! <laughs> you said it like four or five times You too. ruined, I know! <laughs> I'm just letting you go. And he said, he doesn't like the saying that everything comes out in the watch because his cousin fell asleep in a pocket. And he said, because sometimes... They don't come out. <laughs> or sometimes they do come out in the wash and they look completely different than they ever did. Then all he did was sit outside the window waiting for fire trucks to come by. And oh, I was like, no! God. What kind of depressing ass and shit no, are you watching? You have to watch it. It's a very uplifting movie. Is it was, it? It's a, I Is was like, it? girl, I was on the plane and I was like scrolling through the things and I was like, that looks so weird. And then I like read the, and I was like, it looked weird enough to make me interested, so I read the caption. Girl, after I read the caption, and I was like, I oh, don't know, girl, let's play the preview. And I watched the preview, and I was like, no, it let's already just had watch you, it. It already had you at that point. It already had you at that point. Heidi, it's a good movie. Is it? Shall it's I watch a good it? Movie. It, it, will, it will uplift your spirits. It's fun for the whole family. They only make one joke that I kind of felt like was like, oh, okay, that was a little <laughs> racy. Oh, but other than that, of course. it's amazing. Li- okay, I'm work. telling you. Now, Heidi, yes, are sir. you watching any movies right now currently? Um, or any shows? Uh, shows, shows, shows. I just finished uh, Why Do Women Kill? Mm. Such a good show. That first season. You just watched it again. I just well, I started watching it again. Again, yeah. Yeah, I watched it going to and from Australia. Okay. Those long ass flights. I was like, well, let me just watch this. Sometime. The whole season. I watched both seasons. And let me tell y'all this. That's that how playbook. long that flight is. Bitch, and that you can watch two bitch, I watched seasons two of a program. Seasons of a program. Honey, on planes. I watched one and like the first two episodes of season Girl, two. Girl, she literally there, watched two seasons of, of Big Brother back. on that flight. Bitch, literally. <laughs> to watch her. <laughs> and got all the background footage. Honey, from the 24 hidden hour footage. <laughs> the 24 hour footage roll and everything, bitch. Yeah. Girl, look, I would say. I say this. That show is right that now. Show is currently, crazy. we should recommend something to all of our viewers. Okay, to watch. Well, which what we recommend it? Something very, or not even just to watch. I think like something that is very like our viewers, listeners, just anything in general, really. Um, yes, yeah, something that is like fresh right now that they should know about. Fresh right now, us. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. Um. Uh. Oh, for any gamers out there, mm-hmm. I have a game that I've been playing. Uh, Triangle Strategy. It's a turn-based strategy RPG. Okay. Think Final Fantasy Tactics. That's all I gotta say. Anyone who knows it will instantly be like, "Oh, okay, great." See. Yeah. Um. I. Okay. This is what I will tell y'all. What is popping in pop culture right now? Ooh, what's for popping? Me. That I say that everybody needs to pay, get a part of, or get one of. Is a circle on Twitter. A circle on Twitter. <laughs> Heidi, you don't got a circle on Twitter. What's a circle on Twitter? I probably have it. What's a circle on Twitter? Heidi, girl. What's a circle on Twitter, do, y'all? Ingrid, do you know what a circle is? No. I'm going to tell y'all what the, oh my God. Let me read this. Y'all are y'all have literally. I am. I am about to leave Twitter this podcast. Twitter circle allows you to tweet to a smaller audience of your choice. Anyone on Twitter can be added to a circle, even if you don't follow someone. Once in the circle, they'll be able to see tweets and replies shared in that circle. Oh, I mean, I have one. I just didn't know that I could use it. Well, yeah, because it said everybody has one. Oh my god, look at us! And now, th- what it is is am you I cannot... in a circle? No. Are you? Doubt it. Probably not. Probably not. You're in my circle. 
Heidi, you didn't even fucking know you had a circle. But my you're circle, lying. my circle's open you're, right you're now. You're a liar. That's not a lie. Heidi, my circle's Heidi, open, your bitch. Your circle is open because last my night circle. your baby came to your house. Baby, Don't. baby, you call me a liar. Don't call me a liar. <laughs> when I'm not a liar. This is the tea. I'm not a liar though. You can only add what up I to 150 people. It's pretty much like close friends on. Oh, it's Instagram. like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so, no, girl. Oh, it God. <laughs> oh, no. So, not the close friends on Instagram, honey. Oh, Jesus. Who's, girl, ooh. it could be, it could be, Um, now, girl, it could be literally, it could be nothing. It could be nothing. Now, nothing. and I'm going to tell you this. You have, if you're going to add, have Twitter circles, I feel like this. I feel like there has to be a way that Twitter can let you know whose page and circle you are on. Y'all, never mind. I don't even it talk about this it right now. It's going to make me frustrated. It don't tell you if I'm, you're This is making me frustrated. Y'all, we have a very special guest coming today. <laughs> and I know for a fact that our special guest knows about Twitter circles. I bet she does. And girl, we're not going to get all... We're, we're I bet she to, does. Gonna, <laughs> I'm sure she does. Y'all, I don't want to make this a Twitter circle episode, but girl, we definitely need we to We can make about a whole episode on Twitter etiquette circles. Etiquette about the Twitter circle. Fimsters. Girl, some people go on the Twitter circle, but you gotta let you gotta let people know. I, we gonna talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about we'll it, talk Heidi. About we'll it. talk about it. But girl, don't let me forget. But it's it's gaggy. Twitter circle. Um, if y'all got a Twitter circle, um, y'all should tweet. Put circle, us put hashtag. us in your Twitter circles. Put us in your Twitter circle. But I'm gonna tell you this: if you add a girl to your Twitter circle, I feel like you should immediately you should you should have to DM them. And let them know because Twitter will not let you know who circled you in, girl. Only way you know who circled J- you in. Jada, Jada, Jada. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Okay, girl. You, you know, you I'm talk, excited. You get, you get real passionate about that Twitter circle, honey. We'll talk about that no, later. No, I get passionate about, about Twitter. About notifications. And about Twitter in general. Because Twitter, You do girl, like Twitter. Twitter. You do like Twitter. You hate Twitter. I, I, you have a lot I of don't necessarily get Twitter. I, I post on Twitter and sometimes they'll be like, yes. And sometimes they'll be like, oh. Okay. But yeah, it's a good time. Well, look, y'all, we have a special guest. It's going to be, it's going to be really good. So. I would say, I'm not even going to recommend that right now because I feel like there's ways that can make it better. So what I will recommend right now <laughs> to everybody is the shoe movie. The shoe. Not another crazy ass movie. That's the shoe, shoe movie. What's the shoe movie? The shoe movie about the shoes on Marcel the Shell. Oh. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Marcel the Shell who wears nails. Or shoes. <laughs> the, the what? <laughs> say it again. Marcel the Shell. Mm-hmm. Who wears shoes? Mm, you said it. Or something like that. You don't even know. Bitch. You don't even... <laughs> Heidi, let me tell you this. Don't that you tell movie, me. What, did it change your life? Yeah. How so? I, I watched. When I, when I got done watching deep? it, the movie, I feel like when you watch movies with people in the movies, you're very aware that they're acting. Mm-hmm. The the shell was so innocent. The shell you couldn't tell the shell was acting. The shell no. The shell li- literally seemed like it didn't know anything about the world. They found a way to make the shell very endearing. Girl, when I'm telling you, it's very hard for me to. Explain so they make it, you love that shell. But you they fall introduce you to the mother shell. That, the mother and then you find out about the shell that was basically broken. Maybe. The mother shell. The mother. What about the mother? Was shell? Was gone. She's just gone. She's, she was stolen. She was Mia. Gone. She was gone the whole time. Wow. It was him and the grandmother. Oh, it's the grandmother. Learning to live alone. And let me tell you this. That's sad. You know grandmothers? Yeah. I know grandmothers. Mm-hmm. I lost my grandmother. Grandmothers are not always here. Mm-hmm. So if him and his grandmother were no longer together for whatever oh reason, God. he would be by himself. Oh, my God. And you heard him say you need at least 20 shells to be in a community. So he would have been, it, there's no way he would have survived. He didn't even got a Twitter circle. <laughs> well, after he went viral, he probably did. <laughs> that's I know that's right. Marcel, if you out there, add me to your Twitter circle, baby. Not I love adding, you. Not, not adding the shell. And guess what? what? I'm telling you the truth. I love that movie so much uh-huh. that I definitely, for sure, am getting a tattoo of that little shell. We first got to get our tattoos together first, ho. Heidi, when are we going to do that? We're supposed to do it soon. Next time we in the pot, next time we hear, that's what we're doing. You you saying that now? You putting next it, time we're you, well, you putting it into the world. Okay, the next next time. The next next time. That sounds more accurate. The next next time. The next. next the next time. next time. Which isn't necessarily <laughs> next. The t- the second time after we're back is actually yeah. more so. The next time we talk about the next time. T. That's weird. T. Oh my god. 
Now, I think it's time for me to take a break because I'm going to go powder my nose. Not that. Not, what about And mean? I'm going to really go powder my nose. Do I get to take a break too? Heidi, you go sit here. Oh, I oh I got to sit you here. You go sit here and you go wait. You go sit until here. we come back from this break. <laughs> I hate you. And you go think about Marcel. I think about Marcel and what she did. The The snail. And, that, don't you fucking <laughs> You're not gonna ruin this. <laughs> You're not gonna ruin this. Then I'm gonna end up walking. Then it's gonna be like one day I'm gonna be. <laughs> You're gonna the, end up with a tattoo of a one snail. One day I'm gonna be somewhere with you and our next special guest, drunk, and y'all gonna find out. And literally, I'm gonna end up walking out with a tattoo of a snail with sneakers. I'm and excited. Be pissed, I'm bro. excited about this. I'm really excited about this. Y'all, we'll be right back. We'll be back. Bye. <laughs> We're back. We're back again. We're back from the. We Multiple. were laughing. We were laughing with our guest. We were a, a, an amazing we have a guest. Special guest. That's very special. <clears throat> we took a break. We did. And we're back from that break. And Heidi, I'm we're hungry. We're back from the break. And you're hungry from the break. I'm hungry from y'all. The break. We're look. We're back, and I'm gonna read this. You can do it. Are you ready, Heidi? I believe in Are you. Are y'all ready, Jada? Go off. <sighs> It feels like this is the most important moment of my life. Oh. Getting this, announcing this. Well, well go off, sis. You may know our guest Ooh. as the spiciest contestant from RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. Ooh. And the proof that good things do indeed come in small packages. Bosco? Ooh. 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 <laughs> 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 you shady bitch. <laughs> she's gonna come here and she's shady too. So hopefully, I live. look, y'all. Welcome, Georgia. Hey, 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 bitches of the world. Oh my oh, god, Georgia is here. Oh, y'all, y'all look good. Hi, Georgia. Thank y'all you. Look you. Y'all look little. Y'all look so nasty. Pinch. I wanted a little velveteen moment. Filthy. Ooh. The girls are all going for different finishes. Mm-hmm. This is a tea I wanted extremely velvety. Mm-hmm. Heidi is velvety, but you know she got that highlight in there where she get that good juice on the cheeks. And mm-hmm. then you are in the studio just... Just dude. Dewey. Oh dude. my god. Just, dude. Uh, just juice. Beautiful uh, skin. Uh, uh, now, uh, let it out. Let it out. Yes, we, we're not here to talk about your skin, but I'm. Oh. But we're going to. Oh, here she okay, go. Okay, okay. Is it your good? Your skin is be- it's beautiful. Thank okay. You. One skincare product that you use that you feel like now and and girl, don't we all got skincare products? How do you know we got some skincare mm-hmm. products we have that we mm-hmm. put on our skin that we'd be like putting on every day? And we don't know what the fuck is doing. Yeah, yeah. Or sure. if it's even working. Yes. But but what, buy but, it faithfully. But buy it faithfully. <laughs> One skincare product that you know for a fact really works. You can see the results the same day um, the that mother- people need to use. The motherfucking, um, what do you call it? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Sunscreen, Sunscreen is super Baby. important, bitch, for real. Especially for when sure. you go out in the sun, bitch. Like, Baby. By the time you're like 60, you're going to be like, ah. Oh. Oh my tea. God, the sunscreen really saved my motherfucking life. Oh, Period. Sure. You know that, that's this is the tea. And I'm going to tell you this as the black girl on the podcast that we're hiding, we have to attest. Y'all better be making sure y'all using y'all sunscreen too. Honey, because black can crack. If y'all it not can careful, crack, honey. Let me tell you this. I've seen it. I've seen it. Well, <laughs> honey, I've seen girl, it. Girl, I've seen it when I, some couple of times, and looked in the mirror. <laughs> oh my God. Scared oh, yourself. Like, woo, Jesus. Hands are getting a little crackly today. But, now, Georges. Yes. Oh my god! I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Wasn't that so intense? Hey, I know, Georges. Stop scaring the the gas, <laughs> the children. <laughs> Stop scaring the gas. Because I want to make her feel like this is like sixty minutes. <laughs> Stop 60 We've minutes. been talking about Marcel the snail with shoes. No, oh my god, the shell. Hello. Really speaking Marcel, to yeah. it. Marcel the snail with. Oh my god, Heidi. Marcel the snail. Yes. Marcel the shell with shoes. Who is that? Girl, it's see, a girl. movie. She made it sound like everybody knew who this yes, was. Yes, Marcel the Snail. Earlier. I'm like, I don't the know shell. who this is. He's a shell. <laughs> okay, I don't know who this shell is. He's a shell with an eyeball Who the sneakers. shell is this? I don't know. He's, he, he can collect oranges. Um, he, uh, he's a protector. He's a lover. He's everything. I see myself in that shell. Um, oh. But we're not going to talk about that shell. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about you. Oh, because Lord. that shell is not here and you are. Okay. Wow. Um... <laughs> But on the on the Top show, the shell loved was deeply in love with sixty minutes, and I feel like we should interview you like we're on sixty minutes. This is a very important moment. Oh my god! Okay, okay. <clears throat> let's do it, bitch. I'm ready. Now, Georges, 
When did you first see drag? If y'all don't know, my older brother is like gay as fuck. Just you very know, gay. Just oh, gay. Really? Just no, gay. I did not know that at first. I'm gagged. I did not know well, that. You didn't? No. You met him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then when I did, I knew. Oh, you knew. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, sis. Oh, no. But he yes. like showed me like Tu Wong Fu yeah. when I was like five years old. I remember watching it. I was like, who are those guys like at the beginning of the movie and like. Where yeah. are they now? I didn't know that they were the drag queens this yeah. whole entire time. Oh, word. You know what I mean? So oh, I was like, I, just know that. Yes. Like, oh, I, was, I was like, oh, that's the power who they of drag. Were. Yes. <laughs> and that part where they're like in the talent show at the yeah. beginning of the movie when they're doing like all the oh, flips. Yeah. Yes. I was like, oh, that's what I want to do down. And for now real. look at you. Yeah. I grow. And for now real. look at her. And now you literally do that. Bitch, I'm the Chi Chi Rodriguez. I mean, literally, you, you were the Chi Chi Rodriguez and work the world. chicken. Girl, yes, ma'am. I ain't got a lot of leg, but, but <laughs> so but you know the, how to use. Them. Yes, man. Okay, okay, now if if you if you when you start when you saw that you were like five, right? Yes. So how much time did it take from then till when you started like doing drag, though? Well, I started like starting out, starting to do it when like YouTube became like a thing, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, like, there was, like, makeup tutorials that had to, like, you know, bake and, like, mm -hmm. add the blush. Or, like, oh, yeah. cutting the cheek with, like, the card and I all that. I still do that. I still do that. Oh, my so God. I would used to, like, fucking, like, sneak into, like, my mom's restroom and, like, turn the shower on so she wouldn't hear me, like, going through her makeup. Yeah. And Word. I would just be painting down. And I'm like, ooh, like, bitch, I'm yes! scenty cunty right now. Yes. I got the Cody Airspun powder, bitch. I was yeah. baking. The Airspun. Yes. The Airspun. Yeah. I bet you, wait, was it, like, was it, what was the bake giving, though? Was it giving? Like, bitch, it was giving. It was giving Texas right. down, bitch. Yeah, it was giving Texas yes, drag well. down. Oh, yes. Oh, so well. then watching like Drag Race and all this stuff, I'm like, okay, maybe I need to like, you know, smoothen it up. So like, by, by the age <laughs> of like, it smoothing up, it up, girl. So by the age of like 13, I really started getting into it. Yeah. No, she's like, saying I need to really smoothen. By the age of 13, 13. Yes. that's oh crazy. my god, girl. She's she was a dog. She was a dog when she was a kid. Yeah. Yes. Well. So. Oh my God! So thirteen, Heidi. What were you doing when you were thirteen? Um, castrating bulls. Um, you had a wild life. <laughs> <laughs> what? Getting what? chased by turkeys. Good oh, times. That sounds yeah. like fun. No, it, no, turkeys Down are evil. Turkeys. I'm telling y'all, these rules are sliding. Your breasts are them lamb chops. Get my breasts. Get my breasts. I, I try to. Hot. I try to because of your. Thank you, you know what? And, and also. I'm sorry, I'm distracting. Uh, but I put Ooh, this dress on you today are. for George's because it's green. Not for me. <laughs> Heidi, George's was coming. I, Heidi, I put on every day I come to this pod. Every day. Every day that I come to this pod. It's every a blessing other, that you show up. I, yes. I wear things that look amazing, not for me. Oh, no. I do them every day for you. This one day I wanted to give this dress to George's. Okay. I'm Thank sorry. You. My bad. Thank you so much. I'm and sorry. you wait and see what I wear next week for you. Thank you. I look Something amazing. To oh Probably the same hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so she won't have to glue it down. <laughs> 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 uh, Y'all, okay. <laughs> Y'all know what? We like to peek through the curtain in the veil. The tea <laughs> is, we gonna peek through the curtain in the veil. I told y'all that outside on the break. <laughs> y'all are so low down. <laughs> that is low down, y'all. Like, you literally, you cannot. I that mean, is low yes. down. Come on. I, what happened? I, this is what, I, what, when I say, when I'm on Twitter, uh -huh. and I say that I'm being attacked. No, no one's attacking attacked you. Attacked by Girl. the people that I love the most. We're just letting people know how the real you. And they the need real to you see is behind fake. the curtain. Yes. The real me. Oh, the that's real you. Ooh. She said the real you is yes, the type of you I that doesn't want to glue a wig down. I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, speaking of Twitter. Okay, yes. Speaking oh, of Twitter. Oh, God. Here we go. I was telling Heidi about something that I'm sure you already know about. Uh-huh. Cutie booties, because you're always on Twitter. Oh, yes. Uh, At Twitter like circles. Twitter. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Twitter circles. I haven't added nobody into it, like a Twitter circle yet. Yes. Because, like, girl, I don't know how to fucking do it. I don't know how to do she, it. I don't know how to do it either. I don't know how to use that app. I don't. Y'all don't know nothing about Twitter. I'm so lost on Twitter. I feel like I am. Y'all got a lot of followers on Twitter. Y'all, if y'all don't, if this is the thing about Twitter. If you're not with Twitter, get off. 
Oh. We don't have no time for people on our platform playing around. Oh, y'all are that kind of girl. <laughs> oh, Twitter's it's that, that girl. kind of platform. No. Oh, work. But Twitter circles is like close friends on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. It's very much like um, creating a private story on Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty much like making any other social media account on Facebook. <laughs> Because your mom and me will never be able to find your oh, ass. Yes, so nobody no in your family. Tell me something. Jerry, now, you was on that show. I just got an Instagram. You got an Instagram. Got I said. It. No. No, <laughs> no I don't. No, Absolutely. leave me alone. Absolutely not. <laughs> hide, sto- but, hide stories from grandma. No. Hide stories. Oh, my from God. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, wait, how did it get here? I don't know. How did it get here? I don't know. This is an interview. Um, Because this is an interview. Uh-huh. Okay. We should ask questions. We should be asking questions. Jada. We, we're going to talk about the Twitter circles another time. But right <laughs> now. It'll come up later, I'm sure. I'm sure. But right now. What are like some of your best memories of you doing drag? Like, ooh, honestly, like recently or like of all, like of, of, all time. You know, I will say before Drag Race. Before Drag Race, oh my god, because you oh. got fa- girl. Literally, the fans they know you, girl. The, the, our viewers and our listeners, girl, they have been asking to have you here, so they know no what you've been doing right now. Oh my god, yeah. Well, um. Honestly, before getting on Drag Race, it was honestly working at Play Dance Bar oh. in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yes. Girl- Isn't that where I met you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Yes, the gigs, the gigs, the gigs. Hey, yes, ma'am. But um, they found me when I was only 18 years old. I was still, Work. like, a baby, like, doing drag. Oh. And so they, like, took their chance on me. Actually, not going to lie, uh, how they saw me was I was performing here in uh, Los Angeles, California. And... Girl, I snuck into the club. I was, <laughs> girl, I snuck into the club. Yes, underage. I snuck into the club. Oh, and they were like, they had saw me in the audience and they were like, oh my God, we lo- we would love to have you at the Play Nashville. And I was like, yes. okay, yes, absolutely. Like, take me there. I did six numbers, girl. Girl, they they six, six numbers. numbers. They've been putting the girls. Oh, yeah. Let me tell First, you. Shout out to Play. I love Play. Love I love Play. Play. Yes. Girl, I love Play. Both Play. Both of them. They're both amazing. See. I love them. Yes. I love I love when they're both in the same weekend and it's a little joke, just like, like quick drive down. Girl, I don't know. So I don't know because if you do both in the weekend, girl, you are gonna be exhausted. Girl, yes. I, I I've done it, girl. It's I fun. know. I love. But you, it's exhausting. You gonna have a good time. Absolutely. But it's exhausting, and girl, you are going to be hungover. Oh, absolutely. Oh, girl, fact. stumbling back home after fumbling on the plane. Absolutely. And they have brunch three hours later. Girl, you sitting on the plane. <laughs> you sat on the plane, closed your eyes, and you woke. You, the turbulence was going in. You look out the window and realize the plane ain't even moved. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. Oh well, you god. doze off and say, "Oh my god, they didn't get, what are we doing?" Looks like it was, just, it was just the doors closing. And then somebody stand up and say, "Excuse me, that's my seat." That's, oh you my go, god! Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! So stupid. George's. What? Speaking of flying. <laughs> What? Oh, you've had enough of my shit. Yes, it seems. I've been. We we've been there we've already. been had enough we've, of it. We've yeah. had it. Y'all yeah. have had so much of my shit. I think well, maybe we should take a break. <laughs> I let's, agree. Let's take a break then. Let's do it. Let's take a break. I'm tired of the violence. Oh my! Not the, uh, attack. Bye. She attacks us. Attack. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're back again. We Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. It's all of us. Happy yeah. Kiki. We are. <laughs> oh my god. We are back with Georges. We came back from another break. Mm-hmm. The girls are feeling like a snack. Mm-hmm. Getting a snack. Getting snacks. A little mm-hmm. munch. Being a munch, snack. Munch, munch, munch. Mm. Right. Do you like? Okay. You said munch. Ice spice. Fan or not? Wait, what? I. Do you know ice spice? Ice spice. What's the up? The girl sings the song munch. What well, song much? I have not heard of that. Jada, you're <laughs> older than us. You know, you, you know, know things. Y'all need to get off of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and talking Girl, to me for real. <laughs> Jada, you're a little bit older than us, so we don't quite get all the references that you have. We do apologize. Yeah, you're an old school diva, but we love you though, y'all. We know you're young at heart, y'all. If if these two 
are calling me old on to, on on literally all the things that are pop culture right now. Sound off on Twitter <laughs> and go to their pages and let them know. Girl, it would help the out. Ice Spice. Look, you don't even know what you're saying. She literally, Ooh. she literally Ooh. has a song. Oh, I, I love her hair. That, she's gorgeous. That everybody was like up in debates if the song is good or bad. And then she's like a rapper, like kind of out of nowhere. They were like trying to re- read her about her look on the BT red carpet. But now everybody says she's doing the song with Cardi B. Or probably the song might be out by the time this is showing. But um, either way, then she had made released a sex tape. It's a lot of stuff going on, girl. Oh, my God. Or I, mean, I don't know if she did or somebody leaked it. Somebody I mean, leaked it. Well, what was... What Allegedly. Was she, what was she Kim wearing got that got her red at the red carpet? It was a net outfit. And, and she has a very funny video that was going crazy where she had, like, her cell phone and she kept trying to put it in her pocket. But she didn't have pockets. She was in a net dress. <laughs> <laughs> but the holes were kind of big. Girls. It's a hilarious, girl. <laughs> y'all gotta get... Y'all need to get older, maybe. Maybe. Because if maybe if older people know what's happening in the world, then maybe y'all need to be older. There it is. That dress. And she kept trying to put it in her pocket. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Her back pocket. Uh, no, not that. Oh, my God. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> never Let's mind. just get back into the interview then. Yes. Okay. Now. <laughs> How, Georgia. Yes. How have you been, like, after Drag Race, how's life been changing for you? Oh, my God, girl. Every Honestly, after Drag Race, everything has happened. <laughs> like, everything has happened so quick. Like, it's crazy. Like, I swear to God, like, once, like, the season, like, the first episode or, like, the, the promo airs, it, like, takes you out of, like, what your old life, mm-hmm. like, used to be. And it's, like, ridiculous. Like, you know what I mean? Like, very. You know, and it's honestly been so amazing, like, meeting everybody because I felt like the more that I travel, the more that I meet people, it definitely brought me out of my, my shell. Out of your comfort zone. Yes, exactly. And I remember being, like, so shy, but, like, before doing, like, the show, like, oh, my God, like, people are going to hear me talk. I want to ask you a question. What's up? What was your reaction to when you got to post your announcement. Like, oh when, my they, God, when they, yes. when at the exact second they drop you and everything changed, what was your reaction? Well, girl, here's the tea. When everybody was like releasing their promos, my Instagram was not working. It was, oh, it was gorgeous. not letting me post my promo picture. Because like before I, before like the promo aired, I'm like, okay, let me follow like all these random accounts that like, mm-hmm. yeah, you, I'm followed. So I would like fo- unfollow like a whole bunch at a time. Right. And Instagram got my ass, and they were like, "Bitch, you're acting funny." <laughs> like <laughs> that's that suspicious behavior. Yes. Yeah, so during that time, I could not post my promo, and like Drag Race and VH1 were trying to like talk yeah, to Instagram for me, yeah. and it took forever. Like it took like. Like a week before I was able to like post my promo. Oh, oh my lord, god, that's a lot of time too. Oh my god, I was so upset. But I you was... look good. Thank you, sis. You look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look so good. It, it, bitch, it was a lot of money. It was <laughs> a lot of motherfucking money. Correct. I said, oh, god. but it looked good. Thank you. So, um, I remember when we, when our promo released, I watched. I was at home when I when we got announced. I was alone. Mm-hmm. I was You're alone. Oh, oh my god. god. I remember the day I it Shook. happened. I remember just getting ready to post it and my like my five hundred and sixty some followers on Instagram, whatever. Oh my god. Um, they announced I posted and then the phone just starts <laughs> You're like, <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god <laughs> And you just see all for the very first time you start seeing that amount of numbers coming through. Yeah. I was shook. I had I, to, I literally had to lay my phone down. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Yes. I, I, feel like, I, I stepped away. I was like, I feel oh, like what is happening? You, I can we we can all attest that like it kind of makes you numb to like announcements from your phone. Oh yeah. yeah. Because it like will Fully happen so often that you just become like desensitized like, to like okay. it even doing anything. I'll just like look at it later. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's very weird. Um mm-hmm, forgets for sure. to look at it later. You know what I mean? But Check for week later. Yeah. one thing about you, Georges, uh-huh. is that I always like I met Georges when Georges was like very young. Yes. Working at the bar still and Miss young. at Miss Texas. <laughs> ah. Yeah, she's still very young. But, <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, but very, but, but girl, like you were like sixteen, right? Or, yes. And she was like working at Miss Texas, girl, and like turning out performing at the pageant. Mm-hmm. And she was not didn't hadn't won the pageant, girl. So she almost shouldn't had no business even in their performing. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> but she and and girl, because at Miss Texas, girl, if you're not if you haven't won, if you ain't a part of the Texas family, girl, you're not getting on the stage. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, not. That's just the tea. Okay. Unless you've won like nationals or something like that, yeah. but. 
Georgia's was performing, and I'm like, girl, she is so amazing. And then that's when I found out she was young. And I'm like, and she's young like girl. this, and she's so talented. 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 And Thank like, you. And like, even from then, like, I like I would follow Georgia's like everything she did, like if as if she was already on the show, girl. That's I like so crazy. knew one day she would gonna be on the show, and when she wouldn't, like, I knew when she moved to Nashville, I was like. Girl, I was a fan, and I still am. Work. But then, like, when you moved to Nashville, and my like my gay son moved to Nashville, I went to Nashville, and I'm like, girl, tonight we are going to the show to go see yes. Georgia's girl. Oh, Literally cool. brought them, and like we have like so many old pictures from girl, every single time just a, that oh. I've come to the show. But I would always go and see her, and I'm like, to see you get on the show, I'm like, no, like how hard you've worked. Thank you, sis. It's, it's very impressive. I appreciate you that know. so much because Jada, like, I was so excited to meet Jada because I knew that she was, like, popping at the time. <laughs> Not no more. Not yet. <laughs> Mama done cooled off. Some things yeah. just go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But no, she was like really popular. She was really, she was really sickening, and she would do makeup for the girls. And I was like, oh my god, I live for her. Like her pain is like a stunning, unbelievable, yeah. and like Thank you. so. I was like, oh my god. So every time she would come and see me, I'm like, oh my god, like she lives <laughs> for me. I'm like, I live for her. You know what I mean? Where? And so it's just crazy that like we got to do all these things, like go on tour with each other, yeah. and like. You know, and literally, y'all, like, all of this happened before, like, I even was on the show. Yes. Literally, like, one of the last times that I saw George's was, like, be right before I went to the show. Yes. Like, literally, like, right before I went to the show. So, and then after the show, it was, like, pandemic-y, so we didn't get to see each other. Yeah. So, like, it was riding. And then, like, over all the time I had not seen you, you were just working on greatness. Yes, thank you. To sis. be ready. Thank you. And then we finally had the chance to go on tour together, yes. which is like iconic. Oh, what's your funnest experience together on tour? Ooh. What's a, what's a crazy story? Tell Ooh. Me. Um, wait till we get to Berlin. Wait till we get to no, Berlin. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Wait no, you know, one of my favorite times that, that we had. And when we, we were on tour, when we were in Milan and we got we when we got ready to do the show in Milan uh -huh. and we were at that theater that was also like a school. Yeah. And we came down and it was like so many like fans from Italy Girl. that like attended the school. <laughs> and they were like they were so happy, but they were like high pitched, like squealing, so like, happy. Like, and it was like so chirpy. <laughs> but the tea was, that was, like, one of the best, like, moments that I've ever had. Do you know what's like, funny about that experience, though? I remember this, this is they, the funniest the, moment. She, they did not know who the fuck I was. Oh, no. At, oh They did not know oh, who the fuck I was. They did not, the entire time, they're like, can you take our photo? I'm trying to hand her the phone and shit. Like, and I'm like, I'm trying to hand and girl, the phone, I said, girl. I was like, um, let me give y'all a secret real fast. I'm like, <laughs> y'all might not know because this is the thing. Like, when we watch it in America, y'all, it's not immediately available to everybody mm. all over the world. Yeah. So even though some countries might be able to, like, watch it on some services, it might be harder for them when they put it on the services later so they don't see when. And apparently in Italy, they don't get it until later. And mm -hmm. so... This entire time, they're like fangirling, and they didn't know. And one of the girls knew after I mentioned it. I was yes. like, "Yeah, George," and she said, "Oh no!" And then she got like crazy excited, oh like, "Oh my god!" The one she was like, "Oh, she's 14, 14, 14. Yes. She was like oh losing god. it. But and it, 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 it was like crazy to like go around the world. I think that was like one of the crazy things that I experienced too, like to be. Seeing you travel oh, yes. and them not knowing that the season had Well, girl, aired. me and Camden were talking about it. Like, when we yeah. were over there, we're like, girl, they do not know who the fuck we are over here. Oh my God. People, people will come up to us and meet and greet be like, oh, my God, we haven't watched your season yet. Well, I'm like, I hope I win. I hope I fucking win. You know what I, I mean? So yeah. I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Girl. Like, they say, well, I'll be rooting for you. You go. Thank you, baby. Let's take this photo. Let's take this photo. Let's get this photo. Let's get this photo. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm reading this right now, and it's literally in parentheses oh has the sloths and dinosaurs. Oh, my, oh my, God. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> All I heard was sloths and dinosaurs. You didn't see it. Girl, we bought these sloths. 
onesies from um, Canada. Canada, a store in Canada. I don't remember what that store was. It, ca- it was like Urban, Urban something, Urban something. Urban Shout out to Urban something. Hey, Urban, Urban something. Um, Urban something, where you can get something you need. <laughs> um, <laughs> and at that place, they had like these. We were like walking by, and they had like all these real cute, like oversized onesies. Mm-hmm. We had taken a break then too. Um, and we, <laughs> and we saw the onesies and we were like, whoa. We were like, yes, yes! we were good gagging. Gagging. One was like a cow. One was like a bear. <laughs> oh One God. was like a monkey. I said, look, honey, in this day and age, you gotta get rid of the Girl, monkey one. Yeah. Girl, yeah. I'm just saying. Absolutely. Gotta go. You just gotta get rid just of that gotta one. gotta go. Um, but then they had a banana. They had a banana. Ooh. They had a bunch of them. The a banana cow. wasn't getting a banana. The funny part was Jada was like, you know what, girl? I need to grow the fuck up. This is bringing me too much joy. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> we were very me. happy. It <laughs> was the type of thing that, like, me and Heidi, we we, we see stuff, and we like, ah! Oh and everybody's, God. like, scared. And I'm like, girl, look. It's just, like, weird. It, happy. <laughs> yes. Speaking of things that make us happy, things that make us sad, I'm just going to say this really quickly. Mm-hmm. Georges, I was hoping, remember, I kept telling you one day that we would go to this place. And sadly, it is closed. <gasps> the, lobster the lobster joint. The lobster place. The lobster restaurant. The lobster roll place. C- C- Maine's Cousins Cousin Lobster. Maine's Lobster. I did the lobster place. I told you it's right by Artistry. Oh. And me and Heidi always I'm having a meltdown. I'm having a meltdown. I'm having a meltdown. Yeah. I'm sorry. It closed down. It closed. It oh, closed. my God. Did girl, it, I'm I, devastated. Actually, I don't. That was our spot, girl. I don't know if y'all know this, but me and Heidi, we love Lobster. Bitch, I love lobster too. Expensive. And, oh, it's and lobster we, tail. Oh. And when we went to that lobster place, we were all we every time that I came to Extra Lobster to LA, me and Hi, me and Heidi would eat there. Ooh. Every time. Extra lobster. And, Never and then one day we were riding yesterday we were riding by and I was in my mind I was thinking, Oh, we can go there and I was looking over and looking it forward was to just it. Just not there. Gone. Not there anymore. How long has it been since y'all went the last time? The last time you was in town, probably yeah, about- not when I'm not on the tour. Without me, it was the last time that we were in studio. Oh, okay. I thought you went without me. I was about to be upset. Oh, no. she'd oh, no, be doing that. that. She'd be doing you that. Do I would have did that. I wouldn't have did that. She'd be doing Heidi, that. I, Never, now, not a woman. If I Don't did go without you. you, I would be by myself because that's the kind of friend that I am. <laughs> Cause you only got one. You only okay. got some time. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she said, "Cause I'm the only one that's faking like I'm your friend." Okay. <laughs> that's, the reason, <laughs> that's the reason why you wouldn't do it without me. <laughs> now, we want to talk oh about God. something that you love. Uh huh. What is it? I'm surprised you didn't even do that before you came here today. Get some trade? No. no. Oh. Jeez, I'm sure you got trade before you came here today. Smoke no. marijuana. Oh. 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 <laughs> Smoke <Yeah>. marijuana. <laughs> oh, my God. Jada. Jada. Girl, we cannot leave um, without talking to you about weed. Oh, yeah. No, That's absolutely not. So, oh, let's do it. So, Heidi, are you ready? You sure? <laughs> Heidi, you got the munchies. What are you talking about? It's I mean, break. not the munchies. The, the just break hungry. we had. Why are you being weird? Oh, it was the break. The break. The air in the the air outside is weird on break. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what example? Now people want to know. I feel like it's very important. Sativa, indica, hybrid girl. Oh, that is a good question. Hold on. Well, girl, honestly, I'm gonna be really honest. I, I, don't like da- I don't give a damn. Oh, she was, I don't give a damn. Oh, she was like, I don't said, give a damn. She said, roll up. Roll up now. That's Let's not go. the answer I was expecting. Girl, a little. But it's the answer that I do like. Well, because, like, girl, like, living in, like, Nashville, like, living in Texas, like, you never know what the hell you're getting. So mm-hmm. it's just like, That's girl, fair. just. Just roll it up, like girl. Yeah. Girl, I mean tea. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not the mystery box, yeah. the mystery bag. Yeah, the Whatever mystery you bag. got. Yeah. Very much the Barty bag. Sometimes you reach in for a rule and pull out a dildo. Ooh. Oh, yes, you never God. know what you're gonna find. Ooh. Jesus. Um, yep. That's Jesus my experience. Louise. Um But if you had to choose. Okay. I love a good hybrid because it like keeps you like up and down, yeah. like kind of like a little wavy, yeah, like wavy. a little waviness. Wave. You know okay, what I mean? Heidi. Fun. Me? Yes. Uh, I'd probably say I'm a sativa. sativa. Heidi, yeah. I was going to say, I feel like Heidi's a sativa girl. A sativa I girl. feel like more so. No, you are a hybrid girl. Yes, I, I feel am. Yeah. By nature. Yes, um, by nature. By nature. I feel like I am definitely a sativa diva. Sativa the diva. Sativa diva. 
hybrid sativa diva maybe if Ooh. we're being very like Honestly, if sometimes... we're being like very verse top bottom kind of situation verse you know how bottom. people do all of that and side okay side verse side bottom you know what a side is no i do not what is that I saw that as like a grinder, like we position. like we like educating people. Heidi, yes, educate, a, educate a me. Side is someone who doesn't. Nec- I'm not exactly like the resident. Like this is this this is what it is. <laughs> she does it. some things that you do on the side, but she's not particularly a side. A side is more so someone who doesn't necessarily like the 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 act of penetration of the anal cavity, but they okay. do oh enjoy God. all other aspects of. Sex. So like just messing around. The basically. foreplay. Some the foreplay. Oral hand. This, that, the third. All that. You yeah. know, I. Can't. I love the way you said anal cavity. <laughs> anal that cavity. just really Ooh. painted a photo. <laughs> <laughs> a, f- a graphic photo. <laughs> And you didn't even have to be watching the podcast today <laughs> to get that. You could just be listening, <laughs> and you got the video. Yes. <laughs> she loves to give us. And an the image. gag is, we're not even showing that on the video. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see it as clear as day. Girl. You know, I feel like that's me. That is, me and Heidi have a very particular gift. The gift of painting, elaborating Girl, stories. Painting stories with story. inside of a mind yes. with words. Y'all get it. Broken y'all, words. Y'all sometimes. get it. But, <laughs> Don't talk about me like that. Broken, Don't, oh, Don't talk about me. You, have you seen me reading the script? Girl, I've seen it many a times. Lovely okay. tries. T, now. <laughs> lovely, lovely tries. Lovely tries. Now, before, okay, before we really, really rap. Uh huh. Before we really, 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 really rap. Uh-huh. Really, 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 I have to ask you about the cutie in your life right now. <gasps> oh, the cutie in my life. You have a cutie. Yeah, I do. Beans. How my beans? Uh, I was like my cutie. I was like, girl, girl, the cutie you got is a, one of those oranges. I mean, the, <laughs> <laughs> peel on the little, like, peel it back. Eat about forty of them on the couch mm-hmm. alone. <laughs> on tour, on the tour, we had to fill ourselves up with oranges. Cause oranges. <laughs> <laughs> fill ourselves up with oranges. <laughs> Because they weren't nothing to eat late at night, bitch, for real. Honestly, it's probably for the best. Girl, <laughs> it's probably you for take the best. A, you take a break before getting on the bus late at night. <laughs> we'll wake up with a stomach full of oranges. <laughs> the story, the picture that was painted for me. Thank you. See, this is the part of the podcast that we actually enjoy. Like, we oh. sometimes just do this to ourselves. She just painted me such a beautiful mm-hmm. picture. Beautiful photo. So beautiful. One time I broke an orange with my ass on the bus. <laughs> now, Jada. Remember. Yes. Elaborate. It wasn't even on purpose. It was on accident. <laughs> I was standing up in the tour bus, like, moved and shook. And the orange I had on my lap rolled, apparently rolled under me. And I fell down and went, <laughs> Girl, it's popped. The juice squirted Girl. everywhere. I had a circle of orange all over my ass. Hot. That day was crazy because we because okay I had just gotten back from yep. California I had brought mm-hmm. two, two so I, uh, yeah yes yeah yes. 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 so, so, we're not gonna tell y'all where we was yes you did what you had to do um we were in mm-hmm. Europe and bitch we were, <laughs> 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 we're not even gonna tell y'all where we was we were in Europe and. <laughs> Oh my god! We were, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! I have a crazy, this, I have a crazy story about that. Oh my god! Off the pod, off the pod. Girl, okay. off the pod. Oh no! We, these people need to hear this. Yeah. Okay, tell us. Oh, uh, bitch! She popped that motherfucking orange. Oh my oh, god! Oh, she wally wally. Girl, she, juicy. Mm. She was over it because we had nothing but condiments, 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 honey. baby. The Ew. thing about it is, when you take breaks right before getting on that bus. <laughs> You do what you gotta you're do. You're gonna be hungry. Girl, you're gonna, you're gonna be hungry. But in Europe, nothing's open like late Nothing at night. Nothing is open late. That's how I ended up shitting in a parking lot. In Glasgow. We're gonna take a break. <laughs> <laughs> And we are back. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're back, y'all. And we also still have Georges with us. Hi, everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, hi. 
Now, look, y'all, we are going to answer some emails, and we decided that, George, because you're here, it would be great if you could answer some emails Bitch, with us. Absolutely. Thank y'all. Like, love the question. Y'all, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any of that, y'all, you can always email us and send those in. You know what, y'all, especially today, I'm going to say something because George's is here and I know y'all wanted George's on the pod. So if y'all can, make sure y'all send us requests so of who extra. you want to see on the pod too, not just about who we want to see on the pod, but who you want to see on the pod so we can see if we can get them here Girl, for you. Do you know if you're watching you this on YouTube, put it in the comments. You need to get Miss Juicy. Oh, Miss Juicy. Juicy. She be at play all the time. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait, we, we gonna, I want to go one night where she's there. Honey. We, yes. gonna come, we are going to come back to that, y'all. But please make sure y'all send your topics, questions, or any of that to us at hallandcloset at gmail.com. That yes. is Hall and closet a n d at gmail.com um but we're going to get to that in a second but y'all Heidi lit. take this first email i got you mm -hmm. okay let me it's see my cute. <clears throat> greetings from down under ladies oh down Ooh. under again. Yes. i'm australian i'm sorry <laughs> i <laughs> i am writing today with a deep philosophical question i need Philosophical question. I need your consola you. consolation. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I can't read. Yeah, I know. Consultation. Neither of us can read, so it's a okay. struggle some days. Would you fuck a Neanderthal? Now, some queens would say that's gross, but I've seen some of the men they entertain, so honestly, Ooh. it can't be that different. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Just dragging these people. I, I mean, know. Keep in mind that Neanderthals weren't the dumb, lumbering cavemen that are often depicted in pop culture they made art had culture and there's evidence that they cared for those who weren't so able-bodied clearly they weren't so different from us because we've already interbred yep interbred with them multiple times people outside of africa have something that like two percent of their genome Yep. Oh, I'm I'm speaking today. Mm -hmm. Of their genome comprised of Neanderthal DNA. People from sub-Saharan Africa don't have this DNA indicating that their ancestors never met Neanderthals. Okay. So I'm definitely sub-Saharan. Oh. <laughs> Look, y'all. Got body. Built. Built. I'm gonna say I this. Built down. Well, well there's a little bit, um, <clears throat> Ooh. oh, a little bit more. Email. So, with that being said, would you get dirty with a Neanderthal with love, fists? No, you I wouldn't. wouldn't. No, why not? Well, I wouldn't, and, and no shade to the cave to Neanderthal. I wouldn't. Have just, the caveman wouldn't have got it either. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's something about aggressive masculinity. That is not tolerated here. Imagine okay. back then. Oh my god! But they had culture. Hit you on the head with a club, drag <laughs> you off, and be like, "No, you mine." That's I hot. think not. That's hot. You think so? No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm. 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 I'm I, what? I, do you think they were George all exactly like that, or do you think some were actually kind of like gentlemen, like like nice, yeah, caressing? So the, yeah, Asi it was aside. Everyone's different, so wouldn't every Neanderthal be different? Right. Um, no. 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 Oh. oh, excuse me. I mean, who knows? Maybe excuse they are. Me. Okay, let me not jump to judging Neanderthal. Maybe you met a really sweet Neanderthal. Okay, how and you, just what, they swooned. First you. Neanderthal you ever met? I've never met one. Yeah, I never met one. Either. Jada Essence Hall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bitch. Ooh. <laughs> get her. Get oh her. Oh, my God. Get her. Get her. Get her. Not only get her are y'all attacking me, y'all also moved the, the candy ball across the room. <laughs> it's, it's giving we decided you had a in the building. We think it for your so, blood wait, sugar, no. girl. So y'all would, would, would say y'all would both sleep with a Neanderthal. Absolutely not. Don't, don't try to paint that narrative for me. Okay. <laughs> Please do not. Because I can paint the picture. I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And I want you to write us back in. Would you sleep with a Neanderthal? Maybe. I'm just going to say maybe. And this is not even about their heart. I thought you just said no. I was saying, oh, no, I'm not saying. She, I'm not she old backpedaling bitch. Oh, I know, right? No, no, no. Look at her. Look and at no. backpedaling. I'm not, no. What I'm saying is, is this not even about character? Uh-huh. Go ahead. It's not about if they were helping people. Preach. 
It's about the fact that they probably had lice all up on their ass. Oh, yeah. Feet was all cut up, walking around on rocks. Now, are, wait, but are they now in today's society where those things might not necessarily be a thing? See, now you, le- now you fuck, that's too many layers. That's so many layers. Is it, is it strictly Neanderthals in that time period? Or what it, that because we don't that know, you don't know what they would have looked like now. They could have, we took, in, we t- we know what we look like now because we took a journey. Look at us. We don't know, we don't know what a Neanderthal would be giving. But, but it's not then, about the, the way you Honestly, look. with all the plastic surgery today, snatched. I, these are yeah. things to think about. <laughs> So we gonna all say one vote. No, absolutely not. I'm gonna say no, but see, this is the, I don't understand where y'all coming from, girl. How y'all ganging up on me about my decision to not sleep with a Neanderthal, but then at the same time y'all saying no, girl, because they need to I wash their to, ass. I, I just want to insight. I just want to insight, sis. Why are you getting aggressive? Okay. Please calm down. She, and it's okay that Heidi said that she's also y'all... aggressive. Oh my she, god. She, she hits. She hits me when you um, go on break. But, uh, <laughs> She used to beat me up in the I elevators. Paid this narrative Y'all for you. Are such <laughs> the most terrible people I know. Um, Rotted. Anyways, we, we got another email. I'm going to read this email. Oh, my goodness. Um, y'all, and I'm going to get right into this email. It's okay. going to be deep. Ooh. I feel like it's deep. It's, it's a long one. <clears throat> Hi, queens. First and foremost, I just want to say I adore you both, and I am grateful for the looks, laughs, and love you so graciously bless your fans with. And I think that they're talking to all of us. Oh, Because normally they say, me and Heidi. They mentioned you. Oh, thank all of you. Oh, that's sweet. They didn't mention you, but they said queens. In, in this moment, in this room, you're definitely a queen. A they, queen. they said two. Didn't they say two of you? Ooh. No. Um, <laughs> it, oh, it did both. say both. Okay. Oh. oh. I think they're talking about me and you. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Y'all are such a light and Jada bitch. You killed it on All Stars. Dang. She, well, she didn't make the final. She did all right. Okay. <laughs> they keep up with you. Uh, they they really keep up with you. So do this one. <laughs> apparently, she a fucking shady bitch. <laughs> She's apparently keeping up, too. <laughs> keeping up with the Kardashian. <laughs> um, now, as for my question, I wanted to get some advice on introducing your partner to your family for the first time. Background, I, 22, gay male, am Latino, and come from a traditional background, so my family isn't the most supportive. Mm-hmm. But about half of them have come around a lot and have shown me love. I'll be taking my partner to go visit my hometown with me and introduce him to my family. Aww. He's my first partner, and so this is the first time they'll be meeting anyone. Aww. I chatted, I know, right? That's so cute. At 22. At 22. Oh, oh my God, I know. Uh, um, I've chatted with him about what to expect. Um, what to expect. His family is super supportive and loving, and a pretty much the opposite of mine. And some, uh, and set some background rules with my fam. Is there anything else? Anything else I should do? Also, what is it like with your family meeting your partners with love? A close encounters. A close encounters oh. of a gay kind. Oh uh, my god, that is so cute. What's this name? is the cutest email now. Um, so adorable. Close encounters Ooh. of the gay kind. Close we don't even know. Oh really? Okay. It's just, okay, so mysterious. I love it. Mysterious. I love it. Uh, it's nice yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna say this. Oftentimes, and I don't want to, I can't speak on your behalf, but for myself, I am going to bow out of giving advice today because we do have a 22-year-old who is yes. Latino in the building right now, mm-hmm. um, who is probably living these exact same experiences Honestly. as you. And I feel like, George, if you're okay with that, Absolutely. you can maybe give this advice today. Absolutely. Well, I don't know if y'all know, but my first relationship was at 22 with... Oh. Uh, with two other guys, so I was in like a throuple. So that was like yeah, my first work. ever relationship. So breaking the news to my mom and my dad, I was like, "Oh my god! Like I'm so nervous. Yeah. Like this is like a big ass step. Like yeah. girl, for sure. for you know sure. what I mean." And my dad is like super like Mexican, and so is my mom. But she's like my cheese mom. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, just all up in the tea, and you know like. I had been talking with them for, like, the longest time. So I was like, you know what? Like, I need to, like, tell my mom and my dad. Like, this is, like... Because I care about these people a lot. And, like, I need to, like, tell them. And, like, when I told them, they were, like, kind of, like, gagged. They were like, 
um okay yeah like <laughs> this is new it's a lot of for information sure. at once yes for, for sure. sure a lot of information but uh they did it they talked to like my mom and my dad like through facetime like on my yeah. phone like it never mm-hmm. got to the point where we didn't last that long yeah. to like meet them but um yeah like honestly like if your parents see that you're happy with the people that Get around you, you yeah. and the people that like you love like that's that should be the only thing that matters. And if your mom and dad like really like care about you and all this stuff, you know, like yeah. that would be accepting. You know Absolutely. what I mean? They'll Aww. see your happiness and be like, okay, that's all that matters Gee. at this point. You know? Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you so much, Close Encounters of the Gay Kind. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure today we'll all be hoping we have Close Encounters of a Gay Kind ourselves. Ooh, ooh yes. Um, ooh, maybe, ooh. Ho- hopefully after this. Hopefully, ooh. Ah. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Shouldn't have had Chipotle oh first. My, oh my um, god. Nah. Now. <laughs> Put that in the Twitter circle. <laughs> Baby, I will hope you do not. <laughs> Y'all. I'm going to ask y'all this question because it was also... Y'all don't be knowing nothing about what's going on on Twitter, but the <laughs> thing was going on on Twitter about people shitting in the bathroom at the club. What hap- Wait, what happened? It's a big deal. It's a big thing. We'll wait, talk really? about this off the pod. Girl. I'm telling y'all, Hall and Closet After Dark is coming soon, girl. Yes, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you that? One day we're going to have the serious? conversation about should you be shitting in the club? Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm going to say absolutely no. So that's, that's y'all, no? spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we'll have others. But we'll be, we'll be talking about stuff. Now, before we go, we have a very special guest we like to to, to invite to our mm-hmm. podcast. Yes. We always, Just from time to time. From okay, time to okay. time. It's, it's not a big deal. Or what we, I mean, I mean, if you could invite them, that would, maybe they'll listen to amazing. you. Okay, maybe. I mean... <laughs> Well, it's the one and only John Cena. Ooh. Ooh. What do I got to do? Just like introduce it? No, just, just invite him however you want to. Ask tell, him to come to our podcast. Just tell him to come to the podcast. John Cena, I know you see these bad bitches right oh, here, oh first and foremost. And I know you follow these hoes. Yeah. So John Cena, John Cena, you need to be on this podcast. Thank like, you. As soon come, as possible. John, come on, please, daddy. Oh, maybe that's the scene that might be what just did yeah. it right there. Yeah, ah. that might be just what did it right there. Now, y'all, we always say who we would like to see on the podcast. Like I told y'all, we would we would love for y'all. Like we brought we brought George's here today. We bring it. We we want to bring. Make sure we're bringing more special guests. Like we we love to have in the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But y'all, we want to see who you would like to have here. So please make sure you write it in to us. But before we go, we already said who we want to see on this podcast mm-hmm. next time, and I feel like. It's a general consensus. It is. Miss Juicy. Miss Juicy. Miss Juicy, baby. Miss Juicy. We need her now. And she can come on here and sing Body Party. Yes, Good Body yeah. Party. Oh, my God. Oh, no. My body. Yes. It's your body. Oh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, All more right. like, bye, everyone. Um, Before we go. Yeah. Oh. Georges. Uh-huh. Tell all these people where they can find you. Yes, ma'am. You can find me on Instagram at Georges underscore one. You can find me on Twitter being freaky deaky ah! Ah! at Georges underscore one. Yeah. And you can find me on TikTok. I really don't get on TikTok as much, but you could follow me there too. If you okay, want to. T, yes. And do you have anything special coming up that people should be keeping their eyes Something you want to plug? Oh, oh my God. Uh, I can't say it right now, but Ooh. in January... It's Just gonna be sickening. You're keep gonna the see, eye open. Yes, keep the eye open. I mean, Jada are gonna have some. Shake the dice. Yes, so we're, we're gonna have some oh sickening. Oh my god. Um, yes. Ooh. Anyways, um, yeah. So y'all, make sure y'all are following Georgia so you can keep up on everything that's about to happen. You do uh-huh. not want to miss out on the sickening tea. Y'all are gonna be gagged. Thank you so much for listening to Hall and mm. Closet. <laughs> I'm Jada Essence Hall. And I'm Heidi and Closet. And you can follow me on all of my social media at Jada E. Hall. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Only all of that. Twitter circle, all of that. And you can follow Heidi at Heidi in Closet on everything except for TikTok, where you will have to find her at the Heidi in Closet. And you can find our mother, our mom, mom podcast, all across the board at mom podcast. 
with an S at the end. Make sure you get that S up in there, girl. Yes. And if you have any tips or topics you want us to discuss, just anything you want us to investigate a little bit more, shoot us an email at hallandcloset at gmail.com. That's hall and A N D. Closet. Mm, yes. At gmail.com. And look, make sure you're subscribed to to us and this podcast on all of your podcast social media finding listening app yes, and things like that. that yeah yeah, all of that app mm-hmm. stuff because you don't want to ever miss an episode see you see next, next week for, for more, more haul, haul and, and closet. closet not the question marks To listen to Hall and Closet one day early and ad-free, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcast.plus. Hall and Closet is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom. Hosted by Jada Essence Hall and Heidi in Closet. And produced by Ingrid Walla. Editing and sound design by Margot Padilla. Executive produced by Willem Belli, Alaska Thunderfuck, Big Dipper, and Joe Cilio.